Welcome Cal 3 students. Uh, I put together this orientation video because I want to cover a lot of things that I really just won't have time to do in class. Things that you can do on your own. Uh, let me just show you uh, how to get to the course. You log into ACES. Um, I'm going to assume that you have knowledge of ACES and um, also how to get to your classes so you just click on your courses. You make sure you're looking at spring here. You go to Cal 3. And then this brings you to what's called Canvas. Now, Canvas, this is not going to be a tutorial on Canvas, but I'll point out that your inbox is up here. It's where you check your mail. Um, and this is our course page. We have a link to the syllabus and then a link to our class uh, lecture videos. Let me just go to the syllabus, run through this real quickly with you. It's going to take a little while to load. It's actually it took like a minute to load when I tried this. A little while ago. Let's see what happens here. And I'm surprised it's even working to tell you the truth, but last semester we had lots of problems the first day. There it is. All right, so here we go. We're in calculus. Um, our classes meet on Mondays and Wednesdays from 1 to 2.40. We are in MLH 120. That's a very unusual building for a math class, but I had to request this class, so this was the only uh, building and location they could put me in. Um, my, my name here and my email, my office location, my cell phone number. Just make sure if you're going to uh, send me a text, let me know who you are. That's fine with me. Um, and then my office hours. So this is when I'm available uh, for you to walk in and get help. I'll just point out on Monday, Wednesday, uh, before our class for two hours, I'm in my office. And then after our class for an hour, I'm in my office. So hopefully that works out with you. If not, I've got some hours on Tuesday, Thursday, and then also on Friday. Um, our book right here, Stewart's uh, Essential Calculus, the second edition. There are the ISBNs. I also ask you to bring a flash drive. Now, this is something that I'll be able to um, possibly give you some of our lecture notes um, ahead of time, and that way you can kind of be prepared for class. This is not an absolute must, but if you have it, just bring it to class every day. That way, if I have something I want to give you, I can just easily uh, get it get it on your flash drive. I do um, ask that you have access to a computer um, if you want to uh, look at my notes. So. What you have to do is you have to go to this website, Wolfram Player here, and go ahead and go through this process of you know selecting your probably a student and then the name of the school and then your email, and then you download this. This is a free player, and what it allows you to do is open up my notes. So let me show you an example. I'm going to open up my notes <coughs> and go to... Let's see the first section we're going to start here. And you'll be able to open it. Mine, mine is opening in Wolfram Mathematica because I, I own that program, but yours will open up in a, in a Mathematica uh, player. So what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to go through, once you've downloaded that uh, um, player, you'll be able to manipulate things just like I am here, but you'll be able to, to do it on your computer at home. And this is the way... I'm going to present the entire course. I'll be showing um, showing demonstrations like this and manipulating these these objects. So if you want that ability, which I encourage you to do, I, especially when you get to like something like this, where we have three dimensional space, and you want to try and visualize it. So a couple of things you can do here. If you just hover your mouse over this, you'll see those two kind of uh, curved arrows. If you click and hold the left mouse key and then move your mouse around, you can you can rotate this. Um, if you move it up, it turns into a circle there. 
that's just a strict rotation, like clockwise, counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. And then, and then if you if you hold down shift, and then left mouse and move, it goes up and down. And then if you hold control, left mouse up zooms in, down zooms out. So those are things that you'll be able to do with every three dimensional um, example I have. So here's another one. And so you'll be able to move that around and stuff, which is pretty cool. So to do all that, you need to go ahead and download that player. Where's my syllabus? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I think it was here. Oh man, I lost it. We have to wait again. This is no good. I'm going to pause the video. Okay, we're back. So, uh, again, your, your computer at home or your laptop, download that player. You'll be able to get all the notes and, and go in there and, and manipulate things. Um, also, you're allowed to have a um, graphing calculator. You can use that on the test. I don't have any restrictions on those. Um, here's what we're going to be covering. Um, basically, we're going to finish this book out. Uh, you should have passed Cal 2 with a C or better to get in. Uh, these are the course objectives, course outcomes, and then here's our grading policy. So our grading policy is somewhat unique. Um, in fact, I have never tried this. It's the first time, so we'll see how this works. Here's the way it'll break down. You're going to have some take-home exams. You're going to have a midterm and a final. Now, if you take the final exam at the end of the semester and you get you know, better than a 50 on it, then this is going to be the way all the course grades are determined. Everything, all your take-home exams, which you'll have between five and eight, I'll usually give them out every two weeks or so, all those together are 40% of your exam. So if I give you five, it'll be eight points each, or 8% of your course grade. If I give you eight, it'll be, um, um, <laughs> I can't do simple arithmetic right now, 5% each. So that'll be, that'll be the way it breaks down with the mini exams. That's what I call them. And then your midterm's 25% and your final's 35%. So this is good. If you can show me at the final that you, that you know at least half the material, then those take-home exams are going to be worth a lot. And the final won't be, you know, too, too much. Now, if you come into the final and you completely bomb it and you get less than a, less than a 50, then everything changes. Now your take-home exams aren't worth as much. Your midterm is worth a little more, and your final is worth half your grade. Basically, what this breaks down to, if you run the numbers on this, what this basically means is that in order to pass this class, you're going to have to get greater than a 50 on the final. If you do less than a 50 on the final, then pretty much everything that you've done before isn't going to be worth as much, and it's going to be almost impossible for you to pass the class. So it's just to keep you on your toes and make sure you're ready for that final and that you don't kind of take your foot off the gas. Okay, our attendance policy, I will keep track of absences. If you have more than four, you can be dropped or you can be given a failing grade. Um, here are some things that I expect. I will be using technology in this class. I will be recording every one of my lectures and posting them on YouTube. Um, I will have all the class lecture notes um, and I will provide those for you. Um, not only will you have uh, notes to bring to class, but in class I will actually um, do notes which you'll see on the board and then I'll have copies of those for you. And then I have an example here of a, a lecture. I mean, this is pretty much, I'm going to project this on the screen in class and let me pause it. So this is um, a Cal 2 class I did and this is what's being projected on the overhead um, through the, um, the uh, what do you call it, the projector in the room. And so this is what everyone in the class sees. And wh while I write on this and highlight things, everyone sees it. It's recorded. The video is put on YouTube. And then I download these um, as notes that you can, that you can have and re reference later. So, oh, man, did I lose that syllabus again? I need to stop doing that. <laughs> okay, I'm pausing. Okay, we're back. So, the, you know, I'll give you a link to our videos in a second. I'll show you where it is. Um, some things about um, in class, make sure you have all like your iPhones and, you know, everything else put away. 
Um, I don't mind you having a laptop in class or a tablet or something, but just make sure that you're doing classwork. If you're just surfing the web or texting your friends, then there's a 10% penalty on your next exam. Um, same thing with sleeping or being disruptive. There's a penalty for that. Um, scholastic dishonesty, if you're cheating, then pretty much you'll probably just be given an F in the class. There's some tutoring information here, some other stuff about behavior, things like that. I'll let you read through those. Um, your schedule, here's what we <clears throat> plan to do. I don't have it broken down by the days yet. Actually, I do, but I, I've not posted that for you yet. Um, but this is the order in which we'll cover everything. So we are looking to cover Chapter 10, Chapter 11, Chapter 12, Chapter 13. And then the rest of what's on here is stuff that is put in by the uh, college, which I have no control over. So that's your syllabus. Now let me get back to the course page here. So once I start making the videos in class, you'll be able to click here. It'll take you to YouTube. And then this is my Cal 3 Spring 2014 um, playlist, and there are no videos there. But what you can do is you can bring up my playlist. And you can look at old stuff if you want. I've got uh, these are my classes I'm teaching this semester. And then if you want to go, I've got my past classes. And you could even go into like my Cal 2 that I did in the spring of 2013 or I think I've got another count it. Yeah, fall 2013. And just to show you and bring that up, I've got all the videos here. Uh, uh, yeah, let me pause this. I've got to scroll over here. But I've got the videos here in the playlist, and they're organized. Um, they're organized by date, but they also have the topic that I cover. So if you want to go back and look at like integration by parts or something, you can do that. So. You'll have your link here to the videos. Now, I'm also going to put a link here um, to the class files. And actually, I'm going to make you sit through that real quick. Um, class, oops, files. And what I'm going to do is link that real quick over here to our course files. It's not working. Should have done it. Let's see. Oh. That didn't do it. I wouldn't worry about it. For now, let's just not worry about it. Okay. Oh, you know what? I think I knew how to do it. <laughs> Sorry. Class files. Links. Link to. Oh, course navigation, files index, sorry to make you sit through this, let me save that, okay, so you click here, this brings you to our class files, and then what you'll see here on this side are several things. First of all, those notes that you can um, open on your computer at home. If you go here, it's uh, titled by chapter and section, and then it says .cdf. The only way you can open that is if you have downloaded that player. And what you'll do is you'll save this to your computer first, and once you save it to your computer, then you open it uh, using that player. So you want to work with that at home. And then, let me go back, the um, printable notes. So this is those same things that I just showed you that you could interact with, but in a, in a format that you can print off and bring to class. This might take a second to open. They're kind of big. Let's see, here we go. So these are the notes that I was going through earlier. But as you can see, you can't manipulate this. It's just a PDF. So I would recommend you print these out, bring them to class. They get kind of long, though. There's lots of pages on those. So those are in the um, PDF of computable document format. So it's the PDF version of those. And then when I start doing class notes, they'll, they'll be in here. So I'll give you an example of class notes just so you can see it. Um, 0302 class I taught today in their files they have their lecture files here let me 
open this up. So everything I wrote on the board or on my <coughs> tablet um, is now saved as a PDF. So they can go home. If they want, they can print that out too. So you'll be able to do that with everything I do on the board in class. All right, what else? What else here? Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, it, there's not a whole lot more um, as far as your files. I'll put solutions. I'll put solutions and things like that here, like solutions to homework sets, um, you know, reviews for exams, formula sheets, anything that I want to give you, I'll put here in the file section. And then we also have, um, you know, announcements and discussion board and your grades. Um, you know, you can kind of just mess with those yourself. Um, anytime I want to communicate with the entire class, though, what I'll do is I'll send an email to the entire class. Um, discussions, you know, that's more like if you want to talk to each other about something or form a study group or something, you'll have an easy way to, um, you know, talk with everyone else in the class. So that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just a quick introduction to the way things are going to work. Um, I'll cover other, other smaller details of the class um, as we progress.